Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ross and today we're going to be working on my Elegoo Neptune 4 Plus. Um, I need to change the hot end assembly. A few issues with it. I modified it a little bit and I need to change it. So I'm going to put it back to stock. I've ordered one off Elegoo. So I'm going to show you today on how to change this. So let's get to it. So here's the hot end. What I like to do first is I unclip the data cable and just give it a squeeze and it pops out get that out of the way and there'll be a big fan at the back these are normally got three screws in so undo that just like that I'll leave that plugged in I'm not going to bother taking it out now I'm going to take the front off so there's one screw there and there'll be one screw there like that be careful not to lose the screws. At the back of the machine, you have a screw in the middle down here, and you'll literally have a screw here and a screw there. So you undo them, like that. And so I just take that off. And now you have to hold on to it and get the last screw. And then that way you don't have to touch any of the carriage. You now have the hot end assembly off. I'll take you back over here and we'll get it disassembled. Here we go, here's the part. This is how it comes from Elegoo. It's pretty reasonably priced actually as well. And this hot end can do other materials that the Neptune 4 Pro cannot. More abrasive. I think you'd have to get abrasive tip in there though. But this is the brand new one. All right, we'll put that there. And here is the old one. I'd done a few modifications because I used one that wasn't meant for this and got it working, but I just want an original part in there. So you first take off the heating element wire and then the sensor. I find it very easy with these, um, much, much easier than my fingers. So that's now disconnected. So it's that one there for the element and then it's this one here on the side for the um, sensor. And now we just undo it. There we go. Still have a little bit of a filament left in there. So we'll just pull that out. And the tube is in there as well. I might just replace that because I have a spare one now with the chamfer in. And just drop it down there like that. So that's now installed. So now we have the brand new one. The tube's in there as well. I'm gonna stick it inside. There we go. Make sure you're not getting any of the wires cool. Push that down like that. And now plug the Fermister in. You're, you're near to circuitry so I like getting that screw in first and then it all lines it up that's how I do it so now I'll bring it through with the screw there you don't have to go too tight with the screws so now you, as I move this I'm now lining up the two next the two top holes just by moving it slightly left and right so I'll leave them in and I will literally just get my two fingers sorry about it being in the way like that so now it's in I now just continue screwing it up put the front on you just want to be careful when you're putting the front on that you don't nip any of the wires just make sure they're all out of the way you put your wire back on I put like a, a bow shape in it this way and then I push it in and flatten it and then I bring it up and feed it like that Make sure these tabs are open. You push down gently and it clips in. And there we go. That's how I install that. All it's left to do now is to put the fan on and we're done. So 
and that's it installed and there we go I must stress you you need to do your leveling again so your Z leveling and your bed leveling because you've slightly moved this and you could have knocked anything so level it again and then as easy as that I will be doing a video soon on how to do that so thank you for watching I hope you you got something out of it and it was interesting and helped please like subscribe and um, comment and I'll catch you soon thank you